But we've been talking about a lot of uh, IT numbers. There are another smaller company, Kesaram Industries, that reported an operationally weak set of numbers due to pricing pressure. The Rion business as well continues to struggle. The company, though, is likely to deliver far better performance in the next quarter. Mr. Radhakrishnan, the whole time director and the chief executive officer, joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Well, these numbers look disappointing. No two ways about it. I think you'll be lucky to see just a 2% cut on the stock. But clearly, the street is looking at the way ahead. So give us a couple of details. A few days ago, you joined us. You told us you're likely to push through a price increase, both in South India as well as in West India. Has that price increase been absorbed? It's been crystallized at rupees 30 per bag on an average as we speak. 30 rupees per bag. Okay, all right. That's been absorbed both in West as well as in, uh, uh, in South as well? Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, that'll be good then for your profitability. Now, at the end of the first uh, quarter, uh, you know, our first and second quarter, your EBITDA per ton is still, you know, hovering 550 or a little lower than that, maybe closer to around 500 as well. On an average, it's lower than 550. But you have been telling us that you're looking to do 650 rupees per ton. And for the year, you'll do 8 million tons. Hold on to that guidance. We, I do hold on to the guidance of 8 million ton as we speak. Mm -hmm. And um, we should be doing about maybe 650 should come anywhere between 625 to 650. Still, 650 is not out of reach, uh, plus or minus 25 rupees. And this six, 625 to 650, you're referring to an average for the year, right? So that means the second half, of yeah, the, yeah. second half of the year will be, have to be closer to around 700 rupees to get to that number. Yes, very much. How sure are you, you, Mr. Radhakrishnan? Because, you know, time and again, the street thinks that you all could downgrade it again. Are you quite confident now? Input costs have cooled off, but they're yet to reflect for you. And your price increases will help. So are you sure or do you believe that still you'll be a little bit sceptical about this number of around 625 to 650 that you're talking about? I think we should be there. The way uh, I look at it is, uh, there has been a decline in input cost in Q2, but it is not getting reflected in our number adequately as we have consumed from stock, from the opening stock, so far as the fuel is concerned. Uh, therefore, this will get reflected in Q3 uh, numbers as we move forward. Therefore, uh, given this background, I'm confident we should be achieving close to what we have guided. All right. Uh, Mr. Radhakrishnan, you know, let's talk about the other smaller part of your business, which has caused a bit of a drag on your operational performance. That is the Rayon business. Time and again, we've asked you about the break-even prospects of that business. When does that happen? And what does a sustainable operational performance look like for that? Q4 uh, of uh, this financial year, we should be breaking even on Rayon. And uh, sustainable profit for that business will be about... 45 to 50 crores of cash generation for that realm. We are in a fairly, as I outlined, uh, with a global major, we are in a fairly advanced stage to uh, ink a definitive agreement. Once that is there, uh, we should be in a position to scale up our transparent paper and real business. I so you want to ink, uh, you're inking a definitive agreement to demerge the business and then you want to scale it up. Uh, see, first is to bring in the partner, no. uh, do the definitive agreement, and then we will look at the uh, merger. The first is to bring in the necessary technology to scale up. So why not sell it? And the infusion of capital. So Fair once enough. you bring, once you bring in the partner and uh, scale up you get more value, whatever you want to decide at that point in time. Now the focus should be to create value in the business. Okay. You know, as Rima said, why not sell it? But you seem <laughs> to be keen on running it. So we'll uh, let you run it. You know, instead of demerging it, getting a partner, ramping it up, a uh, better option and the stock market will be very happy if you do it. But uh, you want to run that business, so we take your point and you'll break even by quarter four, so we'll hold you on that number. The biggest problem for you is debt. And time and again, you've said that, you know, you're close to refinancing. Maybe there'll be some debt repayment. Now, give us two, uh, two points. One, by when will you refinance? Is quarter three the time, sometime during the quarter, that you'll refinance the debt? Point number one. 
And also, I think you've repaid some part debt or you had some small 30, 40 crores of repayment that were due. Did you do that? Why exactly is this finance cost higher? So, what we have done is we have uh, uh, repaid whatever is coming up for November. So, whenever there is a short uh, spikes of uh, liquidity, at the first instance, we try to repay the upcoming maturities. That's the way we function. Um, now, uh, Q3, we should be through with uh, either Q3, we should be through with the refinancing. Mm -hmm. Or if it spills over, maximum by January, February, we should be through. So what happens to your finance cost? Because you had then t told us that, you know, you will look to reduce your finance cost to say mid-teens uh, to low-teens. What does it yeah. currently stand at? And post-refinance, uh, what do you anticipate it to be? Currently, it is at 19%. So the way it is getting delayed is we are not trying to target mid teens now, or uh, we are trying to do uh, below teens. Between ten and eleven percent is what we should leapfrog. That will okay. clearly give two hundred crores of cash available for us. Right. This, this, the street will appreciate your effort, Mr. Radhakrishnan. The problem is it's not happening. You know, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. It seems like you're kicking the can down the road. So, do you, are you confident now? You know, there's been various stocks. I'll tell you what the stock market wants. They want to see some kind of equity raise, maybe, to repay some debt. It'll give further confidence to the person who's going to be refinancing this debt as well. Are any of those two on? And could you be sure about it? Good things take time, uh, Nigel. So, this will happen, right? Yeah, but every so time... what, uh, yeah. yeah. No, it, it, we understand that good things do take time, but you know, every time uh, there is a good thing promised, then you look for a better thing and kick the can further down the road. Earlier it was mid-teens, then it was low-teens, and now you're looking at high single digit, but you'd rather pay low-teens now than pay high-teens for the next three quarters, right, in anticipation of coming at high single digits. Just wanted to understand your thought process here, sir. Yeah, we have come a long way. We have been perseverant in our effort. If you look at case around balance sheet, 5,000 crore did to 2,000, 1,800 crore. That's where we have come. So we okay. are absolutely confident it has paid off whatever we have done to in bringing down the debt, uh, debt level to subs uh, substantially lower levels. The only problem is the high rate of financing. Uh, we will definitely do that by this financial year. And uh, I have clearly stated the quickest way to bring down is to bring in equity. What it takes us to bring in equity, we will bring it to the balance sheet. That will be my endeavor as a working director in this organization. So refinancing, refinancing in the next two quarters and bringing in some equity as well is on the cards. Could it be a rise? Could it be a preference issue? What will it be? Whatever it takes, whatever form it uh, takes to bring in equity into this balance sheet. That but but you're looking to raise equity. You're looking to raise some equity. Absolutely. 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 We should. We should. Only thing I have to take it to pass the board once the counters okay. are on, once the counters are finalized. So we okay. will definitely have once it is finalized and approved by the board. Okay. Thanks a lot for joining in, Mr. Radhakrishnan. We're going to hold you to all these numbers and hopefully next time around the goalpost doesn't shift. So you're looking at volumes of 8 million tons, the EBITDA per ton. Well, that will have to move to close to around 700 rupees per ton for the second half, refinancing the debt, maybe raising some equity as well, and breaking even a by the fourth quarter in the Rion business. Thanks so much for joining in. Plenty of promise. Now, delivery is the only thing the street will look forward to.